Aristotle wrote of a broad and sheltered lagoon. Here were starfish in such abundance as to be a pest to the fishermen. Here the scallops had been exterminated by a period of drought. by the continual working of the fisherman's dredge. Most wonderful of all, perhaps, are those portions of his books in which he speaks of fishes. Their structure their wanderings. Of habits only of late made known, the reproduction of the pipe fishes, Singnathi. Here we may read of fishes that have only recently been rediscovered, Parasilurus aristotelis, or Aristotle's catfish. I have no reason to suppose that the study of biology maketh a man wise, but I am sure it helped to lead Aristotle on the road to wisdom. Aristotle whom I have humbly loved since my day began. We know that the history of biology harks back to Aristotle by a road that is straight and clear, and that beyond him the road is broken and the lights are dim. This our science is no petty handicraft, no narrow discipline. It bids us seek through the land and search the deep places of the sea.